everyone, it's Irene and I have a project I'd like to share with you today. Uh, let me just show you some of the supplies I've been using for this particular project. I've been using my one word dies, I mean, not my one word dies, but uh, the Tim Holtz Chatter, you know, conversation pieces that I put on some of those black cardstock and I edge the edges there with my little brown ink that I like to use from Studio G just trying to make that pad go quicker. I punched out some banner punches with this EK Success punch and um, they're really fun to use and if you don't have um, a banner punch you can always take a strip of paper and I, this technique has been around for a while a lot of people have been asking me if I don't have if they don't have a punch what they, do they do and let me just show you real quick in a hurry what I normally do is I'm, if I'm working with a piece of paper and you have a strip like this, you just cut it, you know, eyeball the middle, slip, go from corner to corner, corner to corner, and you got your banner um, cut there, just like that. And you can make it as wide or as narrow, it all depends on where you put your slit and how far down you want, you just, um, you know, snip away. But there's, you see, and then you also, if you want it to curl, you can just take your scissors make it curl and then you can make it you know if you snip this off snip this off pop dot this pop dot this and pop dot that you can make it dimensional but everybody I think kind of knows how to do that but just in case you don't have a banner uh, punch um, you can do that the reason why I like to use this is because when you have a card that's on a fold and you want your banner to have a fold, I take my punch, I slide it in, and if I cut it like this, I'm gonna get two separate pieces. If I put this edge over the fold of the card, and you can usually use any kind of paper, that's where I punch it, and this punch is going out, because it's sticking, there it goes. And then I have one piece banner, but the reason why I like it is because I use my um, jumbo clips or any kind of paper clip and I'm able to make it like this so the back and the front is pretty and then I put a little glue and um, it's ready to go. So that's why I like to use this particular, but still, if you don't have a punch, you can just have a long piece of paper, snip the edges like I showed you prior and you got the same thing, but just do it on a fold, and you'll have the same thing here without using a punch. So that's just a little tip there. I hope it helps for people who are new to crafting, but uh, people who've been crafting for a while have known this tip for a while. <laughs> All right, so the next thing I use was some of these metal pieces that I have in my stash, and then doilies, either I've crochet my own and when I don't have those I use uh, doilies that I get from Julie and let me just get you her YouTube channel name and it's Julie the paper bag lady one and when she uh, gets tablecloths and so on and so forth she cuts them up and sells out the doilies and she does an awesome job and keeping them nice clean and neat looking and the prices are fantastic and this is how they come in these little bags from her and she's cleaned it all up for you and um, and when she has a sale buy them if you see them because they go pretty darn quick so when you see people say Julie the paper bag lady this is her channel and that's where everybody gets their doilies, or at least most of them, because she's she gets pretty nice ones for for us to use. So thank you so much, Julie, for that. And then I also use my uh, K and Company butterflies, which are right here. This is my large stash of butterflies I've been collecting over the years. And K and Company is very hard to find, and so when I see it and it goes on sale, I get what I can get because I like to do quite a few things with them. And let me just show you what I've done. And I made these um, uh, doily metal and bellies. And on some of them, I just use the one word sentiment. There's a metal piece here, the butterfly, the doily. It's clean on the back, clean on the front. There's that banner that I've dyed around. Now when I use my hot glue, yep, 
I use hot glue. What I do is to get rid of all the strings is at the end of the project, I just turn on my gun and I give it a quick blow and it melts away all those strings. So if you find a project you're working on and you get a lot of glue strings, that is one of the things you can do is take your um, hot, you know, your, um, your hot tool and just blow it over your project and it'll get rid of all those strings, which is so annoying, aren't they? I find myself cleaning up more strings than ever, so I found that that technique really works. And they're quite dimensional, and what I do is I cut up my own little foam shapes and pieces from using one of these large foam sheets, and this is three millimeter that I get in a large sheet of, I think it's 16 by 24 for 99 cents at Hobby Lobby in white and in black, and then I cut them according to the shape I'm working on and color. So they come in red, white, black. Black is one of my favorites lately because I can really hide behind that sentiment and that butterfly. But they're pretty dimensional. There's a doily. Now this doily was quite white like that. And I just stained it with my brown to make it antique looking and used the Tim Holtz one word or the sentiment chatter, um, chatter sentiments from his little booklet. A snowflake behind to give it some whimsical touch to it. Really fun way to use that metal, that little snowflake, which I get from the Dollar Tree at Christmas time. Let me just show you here. Here they are. I just snip away as I need, and it just makes, and there's a music sheet right there that I got from Alicia Wheeler, and I use my uh, scallop punch for that. So these have been really fun to make. These are about two by two. And they're really fun to use on any card. And I think I showed it the other day on a different project. But let me just show you real quick here. As you can take your card, fold it in half. And if you need a quick card, all you have to do is just put that on there. And you're good to go. And obviously I would spend some time edging it with some gold. And giving it some um, flat back pearls in the corner. But see how quickly that can go. And when the person wants to throw away the card, they can just glue dot off this piece and maybe put it on their desk, maybe hang it as a charm at Christmas time. I mean, it could be many, many things. I even make little sachet things out of these, so they're really fun and versatile to use at any time. And so here they are with the banner. Really delicate and pretty. Different doilies from Julie really really fun to use. I really liked using up this butterfly stash but no matter how many of these I make my stash keeps growing um, and so it's been a lot of fun for me to do that. Now the other project I want to show you is I use this dollar spot gold um, sticker foam alphabet from Target and I made some embellished little initials for my upcoming pocket letters, and even you can use it on planners. I have someone who purchased some for their planner, um, and then I have someone who had purchased some to put them in their pocket letters. I don't normally sell my embellies. I really don't like to do that because, uh, I don't know, I just don't, I guess. Anyway, um, but I had a special request and I didn't mind. But these have been a lot of fun to use, those itty bitty pieces of snowflake that didn't go on a butterfly project. I even saved those little pieces, a little uh, trim, and a little flower for my stash. But they go really great on any project, really. And if you want to personalize something, what a great way to show um, time and effort in someone's project when you personalize it. And everybody loves to see their initial or name. Why not do it this way? So I hope that helped everyone understand what I used for these. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one here. Hope you guys try your hand at it. Love to see what you guys come up with. But check out your doilies. Check out Julie, the paper bag lady, one on YouTube. She makes amazing, amazing cards, many journals from paper bags, and all kinds of other projects. But uh, she also sells doilies. So check her out, you guys. She's wonderful. All right, thank you so much for stopping by. Hope everyone's having a great Wednesday, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye. <laughs>